All right, welcome everybody in chat and also on the new YouTube page. We got a fun one yet again. We played this deck yesterday. It was awesome. We have Naya Legends. This deck was so much fun yesterday. We were pretty fortunate with how we were curving out. We were drawing really well, um, but yeah, it worked out quite well. And so let's let's run it back. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's play it again. Um, any changes we want to make first? I don't really like having four Lava Coil and four Deafening Clarion. So I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, so there's some articles on January ad revenue drop. Thanks, Chris. But, like, what I was comparing it to was not even just, like, from the months before, but just from, you know, I've been a partner since... Uh, for a little over two years now, and just comparing to the last two years even, you know, like basically just all the months, it's just since January 1st, for some reason, the, the revenue has just gone away. Is there anything else I want in spot, like besides having four coil for Clarion? Not sure if there really is. Maybe not. Nah. All right, let's just go. Our deck was a lot of fun yesterday. It's time to get legendary. Time to play some magic. Naya Legends. I have one Huali in the main deck, the red-white Huali. I don't have any green-white Hualis anywhere. Yeah, Discord has a, a voice feature. Um, yeah, I've done the Google Hangouts before. I could do that. We're on the draw with this. I think we can keep this because of our Urza's Ruinous Blast. You know, all we need to do is is play Shalai or Karn, whichever one is more likely to survive. And then um, Urza's Ruinous Blast away all of our opponent's stuff. Of course, Mono Blue, this is a horrible hand against Mono Blue. This is, Mono Blue is like a terrible matchup for us. Um, it's like... Mono Blue is really, like, we played Mono Blue yesterday, right? And uh, we talked about this just a tad bit yesterday, but Mono Blue is great at interacting with the stack. And so whenever we're playing a deck that's full of more expensive cards, that's exactly what Mono Blue wants to play against. They are really good at playing against decks with lots of expensive cards. Um, so to beat Mono Blue, you want to be playing to the board early and get underneath their counter magic. That's not what our deck does. So... I mean, I guess we have a chance. Our opponent just doesn't have any counter magic. It's not likely, but we have a chance. Well, that resolved pretty quickly. That resolved pretty quickly. No, it doesn't. It's supposed to be just random, but it certainly seems like it certainly seems like my playlist is playing like the same songs and not like all 600. Seems like it's playing the same thing, the same songs every day. The past three days has been right around six. That's what I've been kind of feeling. All right, I wonder if I. Um, all right, do we, all right, do we check him or do we wait? I don't think I can really wait. Can I wait? I can maybe wait. I play Aurelia, 
Just double block. I can, I can wait. We can play around Spell Pierce. Yeah. Yeah, Casey says you're very afraid of Spell Pierce. I am too. I think we can maybe play around Spell Pierce. So, on my smart TV Twitch app, it hasn't been playing any ads, and instead just says the channel has gone offline, so I don't know what's going on. It's been annoying for me. Yeah, hey, no, it's okay. Huh. We're just giving him more opportunity to find... Counterspell, though. Yep, they had spell pierce. Scars are lessons written in skin. So I would have. Yeah, that's what I, I heard from somebody else that like they hadn't been getting the ads on their on their uh, on their mobile very much. Hey, we got a couple subscribers here though. LaCroix and Sai. Uh, Sai Sai? Sai maybe? Welcome! Let's get some hype in the chat for our new subscribers. Hawkeye, we need hype. Hype. Okay. We got. We got Urza's Ruinous Blast. And we can play we can play around Spell Pierce. We got Spell Pierce covered. Alright, sub eight subs on the day. LaCroix says, thanks for the great content. You are you're very welcome, LaCroix. I I enjoy what I'm doing here. And thank y'all for making it possible for being here and everything. Marcus also with the sub. Welcome, Marcus. And Cryo, get in on the action. I should play Tajik first, bait out a counter with Tajik first. That gets some hype. We have gotten to 10 subs. Four right in a row there. Okay, Crumble Cruds has been seeing some some ads. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe I'll have to try to find like some kind of contact with Twitch maybe and try to email them and see if they're what's going on there. But yeah, thanks for all the for the info there. Hey Todd, what's your opinion of Multani and the Naya value deck? I don't really like Multani as a card too much. Um, it's just so expensive and kind of easy to deal with, and I think it's kind of too expensive for me. Man, you know, of course, talk of mana wise. All right, well, this is a matchup where we're going to be playing all of our coils and Clarions, um, and Dawnbringer. All right, so what are we cutting? Weather light's cool. We need to go to probably a lot of things. Tristani's out. Huatli out. Huatli's kind of cool with the minus, though, actually. Actually, Huatli's kind of cool. Let's take Vivian out. I don't know, one Vivian, one Huatli. No Grand Warlord Rada, no Karn, let's see, Shauna, Amara, Lannery Storm, Squee, Tajik, all these things, basically. Need to have some, some things, I suppose. Let's keep Shauna in, we'll keep Tajik in, uh, and a Lannery Storm. Got to have a few cheap legends. Still. Oh, 
Okay, so we got to 10 subs. Boom. Yes, Hawkeye, we got to 10 subs. He's all excited. So that means we're going to be opening up a pack here to celebrate. Ooh. Yeah, the Planeswalkers are certainly going to be hard to resolve. I didn't want to play very many. I don't need another 5 drop deck. So, vote for what set you want us to get a pack from. We're still a week away from Ravnica Allegiance. So we're not getting that, but we can either get... You have 60 seconds. Either M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan. So you got 60 seconds starting now. Vote for one of those. I don't do Guilds of Ravnica because I already have... You know, kind of like a whole set of Guilds of Ravnica, basically. Alright, get to take out this... Double Curious Obsession from the opponent. So that's a huge win for us. They still have five cards, though. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not like the game's over, but that's a huge win for us. Rungle of the Jungle. I just noticed our opponent's name. Ooh, the Exclusion Mage. Just getting it down. Well, we certainly need another land. We're bringing the Dawn if we get that other land. Hmm. No other land. I'm just going to Druidic Val for two. Druidic Val will just basically look at the top two and put some lands into play. Yeah, sure, that thing can get spell pierced. You know, it's just something for me to do this turn. I did, you know, I obviously don't care that that's spell pierced. So. That's what we got. There we go. Let's bring the dawn. Next turn. Ooh, Dominaria. Just squeaking out. M19 for the dub. All right, we're getting a pack of Dominaria. It's a really, uh, is doing a lot for us. Next turn? I don't know if I want to just throw out another Dawnbringer next turn to get countered. <sighs> yeah, I'll go ahead and blast now. We got two blasts. If we didn't draw that blast, it would have just drawn like a land, for example. I think I was just going to play the Vivian. All right, trample on over. I'm playing your Hadana Stompy deck while watching you, and it's astounding how many people just die by blocking incorrectly versus Wing Temple. Nice. Yeah, that card's great. Uh, <laughs> Opponent's face after seeing third Dawnbringer, they're like, what's going on? GG. Well, I thought that was going to be a really tough matchup for us, but we ended up getting there. Ooh. That guy's hiding right back there. <laughs> See, he's looking over here. I said his name, so he's looking over. He's like, what do you want? 
Oh, yeah, that Lava Coil for us on second turn is really good. Hawkeye, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Now you want to sit back there? All right. One and oh, Nia Legends. Ooh. All right. We have two drop. All right, we have two drop. Oh, it's Sun Petal Grove, not Temple Garden? Oh, I really thought that was Temple Garden. Oh, I did forget to crack the pack. Dude, Hawkeye distracting me. <laughs> He's like, what'd I do? Oh no. All right, deck. I thought it was Temple Garden. Bail me out. Thank you. Come on, resolve, resolve. Don't counter this, don't counter this. I need this to resolve. <laughs> no, I needed that to resolve. So if that would have resolved, then Mox Amber would add green and then we could play Lano or Elf. But it didn't resolve. Alright, we'll get the Dominari pack after this. My bad. Hmm. Alright, come on, land. No, not another 5 drop. Uh, if our opponent kills our... If they kill our land or elves, we're in huge, huge trouble. We're in huge trouble. The special art planeswalkers in RNA? What are those, Nordic? Do you have a do you have a link there for special art planeswalkers? Like like what are what are those? So it only adds mana if you have a legendary creature or planeswalker that is co colored in play. Most wounds can heal. There's a Karn Cyan of Urza, Tamiyo the Moon Sage, Sorin Markov, Jaya Ballard, a Johnny Mentor of Heroes, Dak Faden. That card's good. Oh, the, the Kaya does look sweet. Yeah, the Kaya looks really sweet. All right, come on, Red Source. We haven't found a Red Source yet. Come on, deck. Help us out. Red Source. And that doesn't matter. Still need the Red Source. Red Source! Well, we get Shalai in play, I guess. Disinformation campaign does not target, so that'll still make us discard our Huatli. No, I haven't seen Alt J's Tiny Dusk concert. Yeah. Oh. That's going to be a tough card to beat. Yeah, 
yeah, Karn looks really good. Tamiya looks great. Soren looks great. Yeah, they all look very good. I think a Johnny Mentor of Heroes probably looks the worst. A Johnny looks a little too big. Like, his body in it for his, his head. His body is too big for his head. All right, we're going to lose this game, but I like our chances in games two and three. I just kept a, I kept a pretty bad hand. I just gave our opponent a whole lot of time to set up. So we're going to lose this game, but I like our chances for the other games. I have constructed your doom. Dawnbringer comes out, Carnage Tyrant in, and Johnny in. Blasting Cannons in. So, am I taking Blast out? I'm taking Inferno out. One Blast. I'm gonna keep the other Blast? Yeah, we'll keep the other. We'll keep one Blast. I don't even know if Blast is very good in this matchup. It basically just deals with Eldritch Reborn and Disinformation Campaign. It's kind of about it. Maybe I take maybe I keep immolating Inferno. Hmm. I gotta play one of these cards in the sideboard. I don't really want to play any of them, but I gotta play one. Yeah, Blast basically new nukes campaigns I don't know if that's better than Dawnbringer or not they could have Doom Whisperer yeah they could certainly have Doom Whisperer also I'll play Blast Dream Eater eats that up and Eldritch Reborn Thief of Sanity. Treasure map. Ooh. Risky again. Can we draw lands this time? We are at least starting with two. At least starting with being able to play Amara right away. But if we if we just get this third land for Captain Lannery Storm getting the treasure. We'll be doing fine. But it's usually Thought Erasure right away. But Am Amara should do some work for us. I love them taking Vivian Reed. Love that. So that tells me they have Golden Demise. So they're certainly playing Golden Demise next turn. Oh well. I want to make sure I can play Karn. Nah, it's, it's definitely Golden. Well, yeah, I guess it could be Ritual of Soap, but that's that's me getting to attack again. Oh, it's Thief of Sanity. Well. Well. I'll I'll let them kill my stupid token if they want. And kill that thing. All right, so we get to resolve Vivian. Uh, tick up and look for lands. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. That's a lot of sweet cards. So they had Thief of Sanity. Anything I want to change? 
I don't know if I love the Carnage Tyrants, honestly. They're so expensive. Maybe I play Second Blast over a Carnage Tyrant. Or a Coil. Nah. Let's keep it. Ooh. The two of us aren't that random. Legendary permanents, you can't have multiple on in play at the same time, right? So drawing multiple of the same legendary permanent is um, not ideal. And also with Kamal's Druidic Vow, we get to kind of go through the deck, and we don't want to be hitting like a lot of the same... Again, we don't want to be hitting a lot of the same uh, legendary permanent. We want to be hitting different ones. So that's another reason to be playing, playing less than four. So that's why we kind of have two of a lot of things. Uh, they're cards that we want more than one of, but... You know, not necessarily more than that. Man, if we keep a three lander and we can't even get to Karn, I'm even gonna be sad if we just go four draw steps and not get a single land. And we can't play Karn next turn. I'm gonna be sad. I am I am currently sad. Could have played July at least. That would have been nice. Helm of the host is just too much too much mana. It's just not it's just not really playable for standard. It's just too much mana. It's not realistic. But it, it's certainly fun. Um but unfortunately, it's just not realistic. Alright, so like... It was not land on top for us. Good. I will fight with honor. <laughs> Cast down. LOL. Oh my gosh. We kept a three lander on the draw. We've just drawn five You're spells. Only hurting yourself. Deck, why? Why do you do this deck? Why do you do this? We're playing an opponent that has cast down in their deck after sideboarding. Cast down. Destroy target non-legendary creature. All of our creatures are legendary. No, there's all of our lands. That one had lands. I'll make use of that laser. Alright, this is certainly just playing the same songs each day. In the same spot. I'm gonna switch it up. Okay. So we got Karn off the battlefield. They got three cards, a land, a cast down, and then two sweet cards from us. We have a, a grip full of spells. If we can play them. There we go. All right, Karn, just keep hitting us land drops, please. All the choices we make reveal who we are. Well, Blast, yeah, Blast is going to be able to get rid of Eldritch Reborn for us. And if they, you know, if they take one of the things from our graveyard, then we can Tristani and get it back. Or 
or I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill the Eldest Reborn. I've lost so much of draw and fire. We'll just get rid of it. Because they're they're likely taking their own Karn there. That's that's the card they're likely taking. Is their own Karn. Carnage Tyrant. Well, I need that Urza's Ruinous Blast. The wilds are my shield. Alright, we found the lands. Um, Tristani and Llanowar Elf? Yeah, we got, got those to the bottom now. Or do we want to go Shalaya Mara? Could go Shalaya Mara. No, we'll go Tristani Llanowar Elf. Oh, right, because Tristani gives us Carnage Tyrant back. Right. Because I remember that. I definitely remembered that and was going to do that. The opponents had good game, so I'm saying good game back. I certainly remember that that was happening. All right, 2-0. Oh. My deck's legendary. That was all planned. I mean, I, I talked about that happening with the Eldest Reborn taking something. So I knew about it. You know, I talked about it a little bit ago, but then, you know, I forgot about that happening with Thief of Sanity also at that point. Thanks, Maskeler. Thank you so much. Set YouTube to play all to help mark towards the 40,000 hours. Thank you so much. Or I guess it's... Is it 4,000 hours? I guess maybe 4,000 hours. It's 240,000 minutes. How many hours that is? But yeah. Thank you. Whew. Yikes. Remember yesterday when we got to curve out all the time and how sweet that was? Okay, that's 4,000 hours. Okay, so yeah. Booster win! Oh, TJ Flames! Oh man, I'm the worst! How am I always forgetting this booster? Yeah, I did teach math, but I'm also just, uh... So yeah, so I had to write the 4,000. I guess, well, I said both, but... I don't know, I'm doing lots of things at, like, the same time here. So, it's, it's hard. I'm multitasking. All right, so they're getting the stop on my main phase. Yeah, to make sure they get to Moment of Craving that. All right, so I'm going to play Weatherlight next turn. And then Rada or Dawnbringer can crew Weatherlight. Oh yeah, Abzan Explorers too, too. Good call. No, Weatherlight. Weatherlight, I needed you. Squee! Go encounter that one. Go ahead. <laughs> they serve by the yodeling pickle. I don't, why is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Or and I don't see that add on anywhere except for goldfish. It's just that's that's my add on goldfish. Oh, now I'm not getting that ad anymore. Hmm. Well, 
I would have loved to be able to play Blast here. Of course, we cannot. I could play this. I can attack with Squee and then add a green mana and then play Llanowar Elf, but that's, prob that's probably just not worth it. I think we just get that in play also. I think our opponent had a counterspell, um, and so I wanted to play Squee into the counterspell. But that's true that Squee is really good against Disinformation Campaign and Nicol Bolas discarding. So they surveil the Ritual of Soot over. I don't have the legend in play now for for blast, unfortunately. Hmm. Do I just play Dawnbringer and discard? Yeah, I guess I just play Dawnbringer discard, Llanowar Elf. The problem is, is our opponent certainly going to want to kill Dawnbringer? I think. So I feel like Dawnbringer is kind of weak here, where like Squee, our opponent may not want to kill Squee, so maybe we just play Squee, discard Llanowar Elf, and then we can blast. Two Black Blades with Squee. Heck yeah. Yep. Told you they'd kill Dawnbringer. Taking lethal. Alright, Doom Whisper, you got us. You got us. Alright, let's take those out. Put these in, this in, this in. Doing our same sideboarding we just did. Um. Inferno, and what was the last card we took out? Was it Rada? No, we, we played one blast, not two. But I think I like playing two blasts against them. We've certainly seen Doom Whisper and Eldritch Reborn and stuff, so I think I'll just take out Rada for the other one. We'll play a second blast. Man, Zerf, that I'm gonna have to actually surf for the, or like a uh, search for that pickle now. Uh, there's no white mana. Okay, we got mana at least. I know Aurelia is something we could play on turn four, but I don't love Aurelia in this matchup. I'm gonna just bottom it. Okay, I like I like that a whole lot more here, playing that on turn two. I like that a whole lot more. What a deck would you advise to a new Magic Arena player? Uh, I'd, I'd advise one of the uh, monocolor aggro decks. Uh, mono blue, mono white, or mono red. I think those are all good decks, and I'd recommend one of those decks. Uh, so you can kind of pick pick which one you think you'd like the most. Hey, MTG Nerd Girl. Mono green Stompy is honestly a good deck as well, and and that's that's a solid option. Yeah, nothing wrong with Mono Green Stompy. There's not really a good Mono Black deck that I like. I wouldn't recommend that. So 
Let's hope our opponent does not have Ritual of Soot. We're going wide. Alright, we're going to have our mana to be able to play our spells. If we draw them. But this Amara is doing so much work for us. Turn to Amara has been strong. Alright, we got one more turn. They got one more turn, that's it. Mara, get there. Mara got there. Alright, turn to Amara on the play. I'll play the, the Rada. Rada is good against Sit. They're going to be packing their Sits again. Yeah, Mara just won that game by herself. Just dealt so much damage. Sure, the, the land of Warhol did chick, checked, chipped in. Sorry, chipped in for just a tad bit, but not much. Not much. Hopefully we have a good amount of lands. You know, against a Thought Erasure Disinformation Campaign deck. <laughs> we want to just hit our land drops. We want to keep like seven with like five, four or five lands. Like that's what we want. This is just certainly the, the worst possible. Been having some mulligan troubles here. I think we've gone to six every... Uh each game in this match. Hey, Turkey Sloth. All right, heading to the con early tomorrow. Have have a good time there. Yeah, squee, carry us, please. The good news is our hand our hand sucks. So that's good against Thought Erasure, um, where hopefully our good, our good spells are still on top of the, the library there. Because, yeah, our, our hand definitely sucks. Alright, hand hasn't gotten better. Well, thankfully it's it's gonna be like three lands on top, but the Thief of Sandy is gonna clear off the, the three lands for us. Well it was land of war off a of land and something else. All right, turn two, Thought Erasure, turn three, Thief of Sanity, turn four, Nicol Bolas. That does a really good job of beating a hand that sucks, so we are getting destroyed. Well, that's two more lands that we got rid of. At least we're getting rid of a bunch of crappy cards. <laughs> Thanks for the Tristani. We could use that. Thanks, opponent. <laughs> They're trying to help us out, but we just can't draw anything. No. Uh, attack with the squee also. Yeah, we can attack with the squee.
They're down to 10. Oh, and then they use the contempt on the card they took. <laughs> We can't punish them. Come on, Vivian. Something like that. Opponent, take some more lands off the top of our library for us, please. All right, yeah, they took two more lands off the top. And there's Vivian. So we'll destroy... Nicol Bolas, I guess. Let's see if you're worthy. No one said restoration was painless. Kinda have to make sure we don't die. Steve Sandy needs to keep clearing out all these lands off the top for us. Keep doing that. And so Steve Sandy, of course, they have to hit us to trigger, which means they they don't hit Vivian. Um you know, or they could have hit Vivian. Oh no, Kamal's Druidic Vow! No, that would have been the best card ever for us. Druidic Vow would have been sweet. Balance comes. Hmm. We got extra mana. Cash a lie. Captain Lannery Storm. So I have to block Captain Lannery Storm because that's that's three power. That will kill us. So we have to block that. Because they can, they can sack the treasure and make it three power. Which they did. They didn't just like wait till their turn to use the, the tre- They didn't just wait till- Like- That only makes sense if they have a fungal infection. They could just like, you know, use the, the treasure on second main to cast like whatever. Huh, got us another squee. Alright, so they decided they did not want Tristani this time. Last time they wanted Tristani. This time they don't. Um. I don't have Dawnbringer in my deck, do I? I don't have a Dawnbringer to go find. So maybe the play is just simply have Vivian minus and kill a Thief of Sanity. Um, since we're at one, we're really looking at like basically Aurelia. Aurelia is kind of like our, our only card to, to go find with the tick up. So yeah, I think we have to minus here, honestly. Ah, feel the wrath of Scala. And I'll attack in for... Wait, what if... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Oh... I am just barely shy of lethal, actually. Maybe if I would have ticked up and found a haste thing, or an Aurelia, we could have had lethal. Maybe I should have ticked up and looked for lethal. Because we're just dead to a removal spell. And 
No, I can only do seven with the pump. Squeeze legendary. We already got a squee in play. We could have like a squee on for blocking. But I don't think they'll have a haste thing. I guess they could have a haste thing off from Shalai. I suppose. Or from Thief of Sandy, I mean from Thief of Sandy, they could have a haste thing, like they could have our our haste card. They do not. I wish I could look at the top four and see what Vivian would have got, but Vivian could have found basically we would have had two Aurelias and one Tajik that we knew about that would have been lethal with Vivian there. Booster time. Good 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 call, good call. Yeah. I think the only reason, yeah, we won, and the only reason we won is our opponent cast our Tristani. If our opponent did not cast that Tristani, we had, we had no chance of winning. Um, but they they cast the Tristani, gave it back to us, and then used the contempt on the Tristani. That was the only way we won that game. So we got pretty fortunate there. And honestly, Thief of Sanity really did a lot for us um because that was the only one of our cards they they cast was that tristani was the only card they cast and they cleared off so many lands off the top they were likely a uh, likely at least one or maybe two of those um pulls that our opponent got were just three lands likely DD stands for donation deck for the decks. All right, Dominaria pack. We got to 10 subs. We're getting a Dominaria pack. Thanks, everybody, for the subs so far. So let's crack open this Dominaria pack. Yeah. Uh, deck Exclamation point deck list gets you to these decks. Um, you can find all of my decks that I play on stream here. Exclamation point decks if you want to check out. All the fun, sweet decks that we play. That's where you can find all of them. Alright, Dominari pack, what do we get? Hey, Grand Warlord Rada! That's fitting. That's fitting. We used this Elf Warrior last game. There we go. Alright, 3 now. Let's keep it going, Nia Legends. Yeah, no, I, I can't blame our opponent for forget for forgetting that Tristani part, but that's certainly what won for us. Of course, after that happened, like the previous game, the previous match, whenever our opponent cast Tristani, I was incredibly happy. Uh, no, do not know if or when there will be any improvements for the duplicating system. The only thing I know about um, was this announcement before in November. I would not be surprised if there is not any changes to the fifth card system and to the vault, just in general. The arena economy is really not, it's not too bad. Um, how you get between 1,250 and 1,500 free gold every single day. As far as magic goes, with um, with like how expensive paper magic is and magic online and everything, arena is still not so bad. I I wouldn't I would not be surprised if there's no change at all to how the vault works in the future. Um, I don't do ladder climbing myself, so I don't really have a great recommendation for that. Alright, this is going to be tough to beat. We need to we need to draw we need to draw Urza's Ruinous Blast. We got two of them in the deck. Alright, deck, Urza's Ruinous Blast. You can do it for us. Come on, deck. 
Urza's Ruinous Blast. Ruinous Blast. Hmm. Let's play Tristani first for some more blockers to protect Vivian. Still looking for that Urza's Ruinous Blast deck. You can do it. You can do it. Wild animals I like. People? That can't help you now. Um I guess I need I need the land world for the double green, so no reason to I was thinking about playing this land so I can keep land world off on tap. Friend. Uh There's no Urza's Ruinous Blast there, so we're still still going down. Yeah, it's the wild card issue for lands, yeah. Come Land, to me. The lands are probably the biggest issue. There's casting Doom Whisperer into Vivian. It's a little surprising. I would, I would kind of think that they would just play the Jade Light Ranger here. Come on, Urza's Ruinous Blast. We get to exile all their things except for the Vivian, but still everything else. Ugh, man. So if I minus Vivian and kill Doom Whisperer, they get to attack my Vivian and kill it. They'd have to attack out to kill it. They do get to attack and kill it. I don't really have anything great to tick up and find because of their Vivian. So we know we have land, 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 and a Johnny. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Our bottom four cards are three lands and a Johnny. And we still have seven lands here, so we should be drawing spells here. And Urza's Ruinous Blast, of course, would be the best. Another no one great one would be. Like I mean, I any do. of our legendary sorceries are great. Um, if we find Kamal's Druidic Vow, also. You know, we can Druidic Vow for a ton. That'd be a good card to find also. Hey, Chris. Any big plans for the weekend? Yeah, we'll, do, we'll be here streaming. Like we do every day here. Nothing too new. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be going over... We're doing entire Guilds of, Guilds of Ravnica... Or, sorry. Ravnica Allegiance. New set. New set. Entire Ravnica Allegiance set review tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Urza's Ruinous Blast has never looked so good. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be going through all the cards, giving them grades for constructed. For standard. On. I would love to draw Urza's Ruinous Blast and punish them for overextending. I would love it. Uh. You can't stop nature. Hmm.
they have to minus their Vivian and not tick up. Oh, yeah. So, question is, no from what I see, Golgari is extremely dominant on the competitive scene. Do you see any cards in uh, the new set changing that? Um, absolutely. I think the new set's going to change that up a ton. Um, not necessarily any, like, one or two cards or anything like that in particular, but it's kind of just a combination of a, of a whole lot of cards um, and archetypes and everything. But, yeah, right now, Golgari is certainly the best deck in the format um, by a long ways, but I, I do think that that's, that's likely to change coming up here. Now we're getting. Ah. I'm a survivor. Come on, Ruinous Blast. Come on. Oh my gosh. So, Urza's Ruinous Blast, if we would draw it, would exile every single one of their creatures, and then our Tristani would be able to attack their Vivian for one. It would be incredible. The wilds are my shield. Haven't even looked at any standard in a very long time. Yeah, just doing family stuff. Yep. All right. Well, best of luck on the the twenty sixth, there, Chris. Yeah, no, I know it's it's tough. All right, we take 15, go to four. Come on, one time, Blast. One time, one time. Ugh. That's not gonna save us now. So we could vow for, well, six. What six cards could we get? Shalai, Lyra, Aurelia. This is maybe possible. Blast was the very next card! It was the very next card. Now, it would be possible if we hit Dawnbringer plus other angels, I guess it'd still be possible that, we'd win, that we could survive. Oh, it was the very next card. All right, we get another one in the deck. The only change I think I'm going to make is just putting that in. Like, that's all I did before was just, I just took that in and then what I took Inferno out. Inferno just kind of comes always, always comes out. I think that's kind of the only change I want to make. Playing a lot of Doom Whispers. Yeah, Coils and Clarions do some things. Those are, they're not really the, the game I wanna wanna play. Takali would get exiled with our blast also. Like we're really we're we're definitely relying on, on blast. All right, let's try again. Are we gonna draw lands? Um, 
No, I wouldn't say that I've given up on Bant Legends. I wouldn't say that. So, I mean, I like Squee, Weatherlight, Vivian. Bleh. I didn't like it overall, though. This we certainly need. I mean, I'm going to keep this, but... I'm going to keep this, but we need lands. And we need things to do early. So we need a lot. But we have the best card in our deck. It's a land. That's a keep. Yeah, poor Squee. If we had, like... Even if we just had, like, white mana also, we only had two colors with that seven card hand. It was rough. No, oh, that was the worst card. We cannot draw more five drops. We, we need lands. Do not want to draw a five drop. Can't even cast like Druidic v Vow for one to see if we can put a land into play. This is disappointing. We stole a win last game, last match, I mean. So. Even though we're gonna lose this one, yeah, we're we're just dead. I mean, I guess no, yeah, because they just play Doom Whisper and we're dead. They just don't play Doom Whisper. I can see. We stole a win last time, so we're still alive at three and one here. So we're still alive there. Dun, 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 dun. So we're still good. Let's get our let's get the next two. Yeah, that was a horrible game for us. All right, we got three lands. That's certainly good. We haven't seen three lands in a while. Alright, another Golgari. We gotta make up for the last one. Wow. Okay, they're missing land drops then. They're just ditching Vivian. That's great for us. So next turn we can play Tristani. I will fight. Are you certain of your decision? Any other card or board games you really like? Not really. Not really. Magic certainly the the one I I play the most by quite a ways. Yeah. I don't really, I mean, yeah, I don't really play other ones. We did a good job of beating Golgari yesterday. We played Golgari a few times yesterday and we, we beat come. it each time we played it. Um, which maybe means that we're due to lose to it today. Let's talk about with this deck, with, with Nia Legends.
Just playing Rada out. Rada isn't that scary of a card. You may regret that choice. Hmm. Can we draw? Can we draw Urza's Ruinous Blast? Please, deck. So I can go Immolating Inferno and kill Jade Light, Branch Walker, Branch Walker. And then of course they still have, and then I get to attack Karn. I think that's what I have to do. Unwisely. Yeah, it's definitely possible the Inferno should just be another blast in the main How deck. Convenient. An excellent choice. I guess having another blast here would be really nice. But there are there are definitely matchups where blast isn't too good. Um, Dovin's Dismissal. Dovin's Dismissal? I haven't seen that card. Yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen Dovin's dismissal. All right, maybe we take out Tajik also. And Immolating Inferno and have two Lava Coils. Alright, we're going to do that. We're going to put two Lava Coils in the deck. Oh, our opponent had four Contempts? I didn't even notice that. Ugh... Alright, squee time. It is squee time. Best card in our deck. We'll be able to play Weatherlight next turn. And then we can... We can have, like, Dawnbringer Crew Weatherlight. We could play Amara and have both Amara and Squee Crew Weatherlight. <laughs>
All right, that's that's good. Maybe I just go coil squee. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna coil squee. Balance every fight makes me stronger. All right, Dawnbringer. We'll hit Vivian for four. So Vivian can't just kill Dawnbringer. Now we're getting started. That's why I felt if I would have just played Dawnbringer last turn. I've seen things that thought they had another Chupacabra like or Vivian you. or something like that. Just go find Wild Growth Walker and Jade Light Ranger. All right, maybe I need to start attacking them. Oh, that's a great draw. Come on, resolve, resolve. Resolve. Hmm. No, we, I'm still just attacking Vivian. Oh, cancel. Alright, now Weatherlight skin. can put any legendary card into our hand, so we can find um we can find whatever it's called. Uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast with Weatherlight. Oh, or we just have it there. Um Do I play Dawnbringer? Or do I play Squee plus Amara? Probably Squee plus Amara. Amara gets to make a 1-1 one, one whenever we tap it to crew. Alright, what are we getting? Vivian? Vivian's cool. Let us begin. Well chosen. Hmm. So I could just cast the blast now. Yeah, I think I'll just cast Blast now. And then... Uh, crew with these. Whoa, they just picked up their cards. Wow. Alright. Squee equals win. Very true. I can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. All right, the coil was great for us. It was certain. The coil was certainly very good. I should probably take out the Watley for another coil on the draw here. Unfortunately. If only Squee had three power and could crew Weatherlight on its own. Oh, man. If only. Oh, if only. Hey, greetings from Germany. I'm glad you're enjoying the deck. Yeah, an organic chicken says I enjoy watching you play this deck because I'll never be able to. It seems super expensive. It's probably not too... Well, yeah, it's probably pretty expensive. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. If you haven't checked out the, the video of us playing this deck yesterday, it looked awesome yesterday. We had a lot of really, uh, real fun games with it yesterday. Check it out over on the YouTube channel. 
Another mulligan, though. We have not just, like, kept seven where we get to curve out yet. Like, we just... We've been mulliganing, every, like, basically every single game. Um, but... Yesterday, we, we curved out a lot. We kept lots of sevens. We basically were not mulliganing, and our hands were sweet, and it was awesome. No, I've never tried Black, Black Blade. Never tried that. Okay. This is great for us. Nothing to play here. Let's get Captain Lannery Storm. I hope my opponent has Cast Down in their hand. Considering I don't play <laughs> cards to Cast Down except for Land War Elf. Well, we can kill Karn next turn. A curious we can play Aurelia and kill Karn. Will the Dean resub in here? Thank you so much for that resub. All right, Karn's down. Sub number 11 on the day. Thank you so much for that continued support. Fifth month in a row. Welcome back. Everybody getting some hype boats in the chat. Love it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not Vivian. Not Vivian. They're kind of attacking our opponent for a lot. If they play Vivian, are they dead? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can deal eight to them. Wild animals I like. Not People quite dead. So close to being dead. Wrath of Scala. We draw another Aurelia. <laughs> Oh, uh, Moxie Amber, you don't do anything right now. Um, yeah, I guess we just kill their Vivian. And hit him for six. I've seen squirrels. I don't want to play uh, okay. another Tristani here, because they could certainly have um, finality to wipe my board. So I want to keep Tr another Tristani back up. All right. We beat Golgari, got the match. Got those games two and three. Captain Lannery Storm. MVP there. Oh, no, I don't add one to the sub sub number. I add one to the, the record over here. Four and one. Yeah, Weatherlight does have summoning sickness when you play it. Yep. Yep, basically everything... Everything that can be a creature has summoning sickness when you play it. Like, there's planeswalkers that turn into creatures. Those have summoning sickness also. Like, anything that can be a creature has summoning sickness. Final boss. Ooh, final boss. Final boss time. Let's get that 5 1. That's what we did yesterday, was 5 1. Oh, we got Squee. We got Squee. This is a great, great curve for us. I guess this land's going to come into play tapped, so let's play that one. And then we got Shauna and then Squee. It's over, boys. We got Squee. Ooh, we blasting also. Oh, man. They're going to play like a bunch of Crackling Drakes. And we're just going to exile them all, and it's going to be great. Yeah, our, our opponent's feeling the squeeze. Oh no, it's Jeskai. Oh no. 
Or this Ruinous Blast is so much worse against Chess Guy. Oh no. At least Chess Guy can't get rid of this card. At least we got we got the best card against Chess Guy with Squee. What are they going to do? Settle the wreckage it? Settle the wreckage, come on. Uh, dang, no settle the wreckage. Yeah, you can play Squee from Tribunal. Uh, I think the answer used to be no, but they realized that that's, that's kind of lame, like how like some kind of, like I don't know, layers or something worked. It, the answer used to be no, but yeah, now it's it's yes. All right, well we get to play Karn. Let's let's go ahead and resolve Karn. Well chosen. Well chosen. Mm -hmm. Mox Amber or Landwar Elf. Right, they gave us the Mox Amber. Which I was hoping for Land of War Elf here, myself. Let's slow this down. No time for a break. No tuck-in. Um, hmm. I was hoping maybe they'd be scared. I wouldn't encounter that. Um, I am planning on on ticking down card next turn and just grabbing the Shalai. Just gra you know, basically just grabbing a card with it that's not a land. Next turn, if we can. Let's skip to the good part. Squee looks good, but the problem is our opponent does have to ferry and infinite cards in hand. Um, they just play Niv Mizzet. I really wish this was Drake's. It was having this the Squee blast combo. Really wish we were playing as a Drake's and not the ferry control. Is needed. Shalai's good. Or like, Rada's good, because then Shalai's going to be able to... Or Rada's going to be able to have haste. We can attack on in there for a couple. Time for plan B. I didn't have exact change at the taco cart yesterday, so I just cast Squeeze. Hurry! Why do you have Mox Amber? I don't know. It can do some some things sometimes. Uh, we play like a. a two mana or three mana legendary creature and then we can play mox amber and get like straight to like a four or five mana one like the next turn it's not usually very good we do have cards like kamal's druidic vow and um 
Jai's Immolating Inferno, where we can have like the extra mana. Can be useful with that, with those. Alright, they're down to five cards. Good choice. Why couldn't we draw one of those? Oh, I guess I guess we do get one of Yeah, I guess our opponent does have to give us one. That's good. Yeah, and the Mox and yeah, the Mox Amber animation is pretty. We are fighting. We are fighting. The squeeze Keep up the pace. It keeps coming back. We're trying. Ah, oh, that's the card I can't beat. No. Is this thing legendary? Are we sure that thing's legendary? Are we sure that's legendary? I don't know if those are legendary. Choice. Unfortunately for us, um, weather light's just not going to do a whole lot for us, so taking it up for July. Nah, no interest in playing Girl from the Ashes. Or I'll just play a, another cheaper card. Gonna put the counter on him right now. If only the Thursday's Ruinous Blast was a better card. So like, definitely our, our coolest draw would be drawing a Kamal's Juridic Vow. Um, it's certainly likely that our opponent would have a counter spell for it, but that'd be our our best draw is Kamal's Juridic Vow, and if it if it doesn't get countered, that is. Yeah, Karn's gonna die here. They they got a whole lot of Niv triggers, so between Niv triggers, Niv attacking, Karn's gonna die. Unfortunately, so we're not going to be able to get our Vivian. Please stop. It is best if you spy retribution. So, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could Druidic Vow for nine. That would be amazing. Can we Druidic Vow for you know nine, what? please, I'm opponent? Don't counter it. Yeah, right? Why do we have to Yeah, why do we draw blast when we're playing Jeskai and not Golgari? Right? Please do not do that. Are they going to cast something to kill kill Squee here? Now. Wow. Man, if we would draw drawn Juridic Vow, we'd be able to resolve it. We'd only be able to Juridic Vow for, for six, because uh, we'd have to re replay Squee, but we could have Juridic Vowed for six here, which would have been insane. 
I'm not, we're not beating the rest of this stuff though. We're gonna pick them up. Dritic Val would have been insane. All right, so Blast gets on out of here. Dawnbringer comes on out. A Johnny, Blasting Cannons, Tyrant, Tyrant. And there we go. You are and what you are is beautiful. All right, let's try again. No, Blast can't kill Planeswalker. It only gets rid of non-legendary things, and the Planeswalkers are legendaries. Yeah, we did. Yep. We had final boss yesterday, Jess guy, and we beat him with Vance's Blasting Cannon. Um, the only time I've ever flipped Blasting Cannons and dealt damage with it. The only time I ever have. And we did it the last three points of damage with it. We attacked them down to two, played three cards, which Mox Opal... Or Mox Amber was critical in casting three cards because we had to cast three cards in one turn. So we cast Mox Amber, Amara, and Lanor Elf. Cast three things, flip the Blasting Cannon, shoot them upstairs for three. Dude, Huatli is sweet. I'd love to be able to play Huatli. We got one of those. We do have a Huatli in this deck. Maybe a noobish question. What are historic spells? Yeah, historic spells are legendaries. Artifacts and sagas. Those are the historic spells. Anything that says legendary on it or is an artifact or is a saga. So unfortunately, we don't get to live the dream of turn two squee because we got to play this Timber Gorge because our mana is not too good. play this. If I'm playing something into a syncopate, I think I'd rather I like I want the I'd rather this get countered. Okay. I don't want Karn to get countered. Um They gotta just be holding Counterspell. But the problem is, is if they kill my Llanowar Elf, then I won't be able to play the other things. So we could just throw Karn out there right now. Or I could just play Weatherlight. Weatherlight gets countered, is that bad for me? Hmm. We got five mana. Alright, I'm gonna play Squee. Grand Temporal Gateway. The thing is, is like we don't really have things that are that expensive in our deck. It's so like Grand Temporal Gateway doesn't really save us mana on playing our, our spells, so it, it just kind of like a, a spell that we had to like pay for mana just to put on the battlefield that doesn't affect anything. And then Um, so it could be Settle the Wreckage here. I'm fine with both of these getting settled. Shocked in for what? Chemistry's Insight? Sight? 
Yeah, so definitely wants to insight. So we'll play weather light. I don't want to like necessarily play Karn though here. I don't think. Cuz then they they cleansing Nova and then we can play Karn. Down, 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 down. Worse than the likes of you. Um, awaken. I'm going to make the artifact token. Pick up. Rest that choice. All right, so we got to land. So we can Druidic Vow for four, which four is not enough to, to find Vivian. So I think I'm just going to play Land of Elf Squee. We're in a rough spot. Niv Mizzet, really good. Matches up well against Weatherlight. We're in a rough spot. I am not. Oh, this one. Could have gone token with Karna, Johnny, count and put a counter on the weatherlight. That would have been pretty we need good. To move quickly. I never really even consider that. That would have been good. That would have been better than what I did. Your efforts are futile. Yeah, that would have been better than what I did. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, the, the Johnny put a counter on the weather light thing. Definitely what I should have done. Yeah, Nissa are just just going bigger. Um, I mean, when when I don't have a battlefield and they have a Niv Mizzet and I don't have a and I don't have a Vivian, no, I don't win. We need to be able to go bigger with like Kamal's Juridic Vow and stuff. I think the I think the biggest besides like the Johnny play, I think I really do regret playing Weatherlight over Karn on turn four when they shocked in and, and obviously wanted to cast Chemister's Insight. I think I I think I should have just go went ahead and bit the bullet and played the Karn there and made them you need to slow down. Make them counter there. Um 
where they, they really could just kind of ignore the weather light because I didn't have good ways to crew it in my hand. So, I mean, this game's over. It doesn't, doesn't matter if I cast Squee or not. If I if I cast the squee, they just they ping it with their damage. Just, I mean, this game's over because they have a counter spell out of these million cards for Vivian. They do. So that that was that was the big mistake that game that I I regret um, was that uh, when they had four mana there, I didn't play Karn because Karn would have let me just continue to hit land drops there for like that turn and the next turn and, and so on. Um, and just keep filling my hand, so. But yeah, we're still in 4-2. I think I, I think I could have got that game if I would have played the Karn there. Let's say they, they go Counterspell and they counter Karn. Maybe they're not able to use some sweepers on my creatures, maybe? Like, the next turn? We'll see. So, 4-2, and yeah, we got another Squee. There we go. They just keep replacing themselves. Alright, 4-2. Alright, we got one more deck tonight, and this is the best deck um, of the night. Also, Rakdos Midrange. This is quite a strong deck. It's going to be our last one. Um, I guess to finish out the YouTube video for Naya Legends, this deck was still a whole lot of fun. Still really liked it. Um, yeah. Sideboard needs some work. I don't like 4 Coil, 4 Clarion. Um, don't really like the Ajani either. Uh, so so that needs some work. Um, next time we play this, maybe we can have a couple different things there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly what, but I basically we just don't need all the coils. We don't need all the Clarions. Definitely want three or four Clarions. Um, maybe two or three coils. But yeah. So those are some things that, to think about for the, the sideboard. Ajani has it been impressive. Don't don't really want that card. Uh, but yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hopefully come on back for another league. And uh, thanks for watching.